So for um, number 56, we have a uh, triangular region with vertices um, 0, 0, 0, 1, and 1, 0. So I've gone ahead and drawn that. And then it's telling us that cross sections perpendicular to the y-axis, um, there are equilateral triangles. So it's like we're going to have these triangles like this that we are going to sum up like this. So we're summing up these equilateral triangles from zero all the way out to one on the y-axis. So this volume is going to be um, the integral from zero to one of ay, ay, dy. So we're summing up these areas of these triangles as a function of y. Um, so now let's think about how we're going to um, express this as a function of y, right? The triangles. Um, so the base of each triangle, we can see here that at any point, the base of the triangle is just how far we are along on the x-axis, right? So for example, this first one, um, the base is just one because it's one on the x-axis. Over here would be whatever it, the image, um, sorry, the, the horizontal component. So we can see here that the base is pretty much just the value of x, right? And as we sum up, they get smaller and smaller because we get closer and closer to the x-axis all the way to zero. So, and it is equilateral, so all sides here um, are x. And so this base here, this area is basically base times height divided by two, right? So the base is x and the height here, um, when we put in the height, because these are equilateral, the angles here are 60 degrees, 60. But then when we put a height, this is going to bisect our 60 degree here. So this is actually going to be 30 on one side. Um, so by trigonometry here, we have that um, cosine, cosine of 30 is equal to adjacent. Excuse me, it's equal to adjacent, which is h over x, right? Therefore, we can say that h is equal to um, to x cosine of 30, cosine of 30, or h is equal to cosine of 30 is root 3 over 2 times x. And so then this area here becomes um, the base is x times height, which is root 3 over 2 times x divided by 2, and therefore the area is equal to root 3 over 4x squared. So we have the area um, in terms of x, but that's not what we want. We want it in terms of y, since we're summing up across the y-axis, right? So let's think about how we're going to express this in terms of y. Well, to do that, we need something that relates y and x, right? So we're going to, um, we're going to do it following this line here because this line is going to give us, wherever the triangle touches this line, that is where it's going to give us the value of x, right? So it's going to follow this line here. And while well, this line, y is equal to mx plus b, it's just a straight line connecting the dots 0, 1 and 1, 0. So um, m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And in this case, let's see, it's y2 um, that is going to give us, um, 0 minus 1, right, because that's point 0.1, and then for x2, it's going to give us 1 minus 0, so basically n is minus 1. Therefore, this equation is equal to y is equal to um, minus 1x, and then plus b. Well, the y-intercept is just 0, 1, right, where it crosses there, so plus 1. And therefore, if we move this around, we have that x is equal to uh, minus y plus 1. So if x is equal to minus y plus 1, then because the area we want x squared, so x squared is equal to, and we're going to square this, um, minus y plus 1 squared, which is equal to y squared minus 2y plus 1. Therefore, our area is equal to, um, therefore here, our area is equal to root 3 over 4 times x squared times y squared minus 2y plus 1. Um, so once we have this, we are ready to integrate. Basically, we just replace here a y dy, right? So I'm going to put the root 3 over 4 outside, and then that is y squared minus 2y plus 1, and all this times dy. So when we integrate this, we're going to get uh, root 3 over 4 times y cubed over 3 minus y squared over 2. That cancels out 
plus y evaluated from 0 to 1. When we plug in the boundaries, this is just going to give us root 3 over 4. The 0 disappears, so we only have to be concerned with the upper part, so that's 1 third minus 1 plus 1, which is equal to root 3. These two cancel out, so it's just going to be um, root 3 over 12. And that's the volume that we get when we sum up these, um, these triangles from 0 all the way to 1 on the y-axis.